we have to construct a DFA over sigma equal to AB which accepts all the strings which is a, which with exactly one A. It should contain only one A. So the smallest string for this uh, this type of strings will be A. So there will be one start state. If this is the start state is A and it contains A, it means it should be accepted. Okay, at B, if I take self loop here, it is not in the final state, but when it goes, it takes A, it will be reaching in the final state. So I will take B here. And here, if I take B, it will be in the final state because it will be containing only one A. Okay, but when one more A comes into the picture, it will go into the reject state, which will never return into the final state. So, at B and A, B and A, now if either A comes or B comes, it will always remain in this state. Okay, so DFA means DFA will accept all the strings whatever it is given in the question it should accept those but it should also reject those strings which are not falling in this category in whatever is given if in this question it's given that it should accept uh, all the strings with exactly one a if there is not a, any a or it has more than one a it should be rejected. It should not be in the final state. It should not reach into the final state. If it doesn't have any A, it is in the initial state. It's not reaching into the final state. But when it gets A, it reaches into the final state. But when it gets another A, it reach, reaches into the reject state. Okay. This is the question in which all the strings should be accepted by this DFA with at least one A. At least one A means there will be one A or more than one A. So this is the initial state A. If I get A, it should be accepted. Okay? But when I get B here, it should be in initial state. It is not in the final state. But when it gets A, it reaches into the final state. But when it gets more A's, no problem. Because A's are more than 1. Or it gets B, no problem. Because the condition is given that it should contain at least one A. So this is the finite automata which accepts all the strings at, at least one A. One A should be there and here it is one A and if you get more than one A, it should also be accepted. Here we have to construct DFA which accepts all the strings over AB with no more than three A's. There should not be more than three A's. Not more than 3 A's means at most 3 A. Okay. But less than 3 A means 0 A may be there. There may be 1 A, maybe 2 A, maybe 3 A. If there is 0 A, it means this is the initial state, should also be final state. If I am getting B here, it should be accepted with, but because there is no A. No more than 3 A's. No more than 3 A's means less than or equal to 3 A's. So 0 A here, if I get 1 A, for 1 A it will be in state B. So this should also be the final state. There is 1 A. And if I get B, it should be accepted here. If I get 1 more A, 
two a's are here, so it should be accepted. B, no problem for me. Two a's, three. One more a, B. One a, two a, three a. It should be accepted. If there is more number of b's, no problem, because we are concentrating only on a's. If I get one more a, there are four a's, so it should be rejected in state E. If now either A comes or B comes, it will be rejected. It will be in the same state. It will never reach into the final state. So, whenever there are more than three a's, it will always be rejected. So, this is the DFA for this, uh, this type of strings uh, with no more than three a's. Here, sigma is a, b and uh, the strings have to be accepted with at least one a and exactly two b's. There are exactly two b's. So, b is here, one b is here. In how many ways I can put this a? a can be kept here. A can be kept here. A can be kept here. There may be more than one is, but at least one. I am telling about this at least one. Is. So I can place this A in three ways here. Okay. So this is my initial state A. I am using this case. If there is A, this is B, and this is B, it should be accepted. There is one, okay. So this is the final state A, B, C. Okay, now what will happen here? If I start it with B, it will be somewhere here. A, B, B. A, B, now. If A comes here, what will happen? At least one A. It should contain at least one A. It means it can contain more than one A. So I can make it self do here. It will not affect this string okay so a b a b now more than one a is possible so a will be here here more than one a can be accepted okay so this case is over here a b b now B, A, B, A. Okay? So, B, A, B. If A comes here, it should also be accepted if it does not contain more than two bits. So, A, B is over. Now, it's uh, over here. Here, A is here. What about B? So, if B comes here, I will take it here. Okay? So, A, B. Now, B is here. It can contain more than one A's. So, I can take this root. If it takes A here, a is here, B is here, now A, more than one A's are accepted, but if it takes B, what will happen? One more B, it will be in a Z state, so I will put its name for X or Y. If it takes either A or B, it will always be in this state. Okay, so B is here, A is there. A and B, so it's over, A and B over, A is over, but B, for B, if B comes here, 
number of bees will exceed 2. So it will be in reject state and reject state is there. So I am putting it in reject state at B. Okay, BBA. Now, BBA. So it should also be accepted. BBA, if this state is I, it should be the accepting state. What will happen here? A, B is over. If B comes here, it should be in reject state. It will exceed number of Bs. More than two will, will, Bs will be there. If so this is A, B, this is A, this is B. Now A comes here. It will be accepted because it should contain at least one A. If more than one A's are there, then no problem. If B comes here, it should also be rejected. So at B, it will be going into the reject state. So this is the required DFA for this language.